I just talked with investigators at the Montgomery County Coroner's Office who tell me the victim, Michelle Crosley, died as a result of inhalation of products of combustion. The fire itself is still under investigation, but Crosley's family say they are anxious to know what exactly happened. The skeleton of 62-year-old Michelle Crosley's Colson Drive house is all that's left. Around 10:15 Sunday night, flames torched the single-story home. Oh my God! It's it's getting ready. Right. It's all through the whole house. It's blowing up. It's gonna blow. Janice Gray lives across the street and called 911 as she watched the destruction in disbelief. First, it was coming from the back of the house. It was coming from the back, and then it just like swooped straight to the front of the. House. I mean, it was like a flash. It just, it was so quick. This cell phone video shows the intense flames firefighters encountered as soon as they arrived. It had such a head start. Like I said, anytime it's already through the roof when you first arrive, you know it's been going for a while. Chief Larry Sexton says it was only after the flames were contained they found Crosley's remains. Her daughter told me the home belonged to her grandmother, who recently moved into a nursing home. Neighbors like Roger Thomas say the family is well known on the street, and this tragedy has touched them all. Got me all messed up seeing this like this because I grew up here 30 some years to see this. I'm just, all I cared about was making sure nobody got hurt. I keep them in my prayers. Now, I checked with the state fire marshal's office this afternoon for an update on the investigation. They tell me they are still in the very early stages looking for a cause and origin where the fire may have started. The next step will be to revisit the scene, but at this point, they say they aren't ruling anything out. I'm Megan O'Rourke, 2 News, working for you.